Good morning, Hello. good evening, wherever you are, right? Because uh, who knows where you are, you can be anywhere. All right, uh, probably I know some of you, some of not, but welcome, everybody. Some of you uh, started the Happy Body program already. Some, for some, is new, which is good. All right, I see myself really big now, All right? Okay. All right, okay, let me shift this to everybody now. All right, that's better. Uh, or, or Jeff wanted me to be in the view, I, I'm not so sure. Jeff, Jeff, are you there? Right. Hey, Jersey, I'm there. All right, so did you uh, change my uh, view or not? <laughs> not intentionally, but sorry about that. Are, can you see everybody in the gallery view? All right, so um, welcome. And I, as I said, some of you, for some of you is a new thing, and for some of you is uh, uh, something that you're doing for many years or months or and you get better, but you want to get better anyway. So, uh, welcome everybody, and then uh, Yo. we'll start soon. Now, um, first I would like to cover something uh, that you need to know, that there is a, the Happy Body Forum, and you will be able to get there, and also you will be able to see this recording, as well as so you can go back and forth if you miss something it will be pretty fast and uh also you can uh, get the pdf of the book that i will be talking to you about that will be your homework and uh, uh we'll talk a little bit about also your uh our homework and spreading the program it could be that the program uh, would be good to do every two weeks, so we'll spread for 12 weeks, but uh, we'll see how you like it. I think that would be good to do the session every two weeks instead of every week. You will have 12 weeks then and your results will be uh, better over 12 weeks and we'll see if you like it or not. And if you do, most of you, then maybe we'll switch to that. If not, we'll be doing this everything in six weeks, but not next week. We have here Anita Brown. Hello, wow. <laughs> I didn't see you for a while. <laughs> Hi, Anita. All right, so uh, back to us. So today, you're going to start uh, playing the, the most beautiful music there is on the planet, the, your music. So this is going to be your music and the uh, the whole music is the happy body, of course. There will be 18 exercises that you will be doing to the end of your life. Fantastic system. 18 exercises will give you everything what you need to uh, live a good life, a better life. So the whole um, you know, philosophy purpose is living a good life. So the happy body picked up on that and said okay we're going to live a good life but we really need a good body for that too so the music was created in exercises to play and uh, um, the body is becoming the piano <laughs> all right so the body is the piano and the the mind is of course the uh, conductor and the one that plays better or worse but it really doesn't matter because we are playing better and better that music over time. So that is the purpose of uh, doing certain things and having results over time. Eventually, uh, music and the body and the mind create uh, practice and create good life and, and you become the philosopher. So well, what is the philosopher here? You, know, you will learn after playing this program, that system, over time, you will also learn self-control. You will learn to control whatever is needed to control in order to get better, you know, improve your life. So all of you 
you want you came here because you want better life and then you want something you want something you want certain results and you want your better your life to get better it's very clear now why we are not getting that better life well uh, somehow it got lost that you know a lot of things are created but they are not uh, complex and they are not really uh, done with the uh, humanity in the purpose so we just create a lot of things that they are um, uh, partially okay and because of that we exaggerate in many directions flexibility the diet uh, different diets different you know exercise system and so on so on but nothing is really created that would deliver certain symphony to play and become better and measure it and have results or at least to see whether the results are not out there and find out why so all of it has to somehow work if you follow if you do the right thing you should have the results because it's all about the results if the results are not there, forget about it. So why to do what you need to do? So if the results have to be there, then you have to do some things that can produce the, produce the results. All right? So you have to have results. If I, you know, my life is always about results. If I don't have results, I right away question what's going on. I do this and this and there are no results. So that system that program will give you this capability if you don't have results you'll be able to go backward and say okay why i don't have results why i'm not getting more flexibility why i'm not losing weight or gaining weight what's happening here and you will find out because that's how the happy body is created it's all measurable and it's all scientifically created so you will get all of it okay now as I said, you came to the happy body with something that you need to improve. And if you thought about one word, now think about one really describe what you want for you to happen in the next year when you actually practice the happy body. I'll give you five seconds to think about. All right, so many of you could think about flexibility, discipline, energy, uh, strength, um, and all the other possible, uh, you know, desires that, that you have. And of course, these are all the weaknesses that we have and we want to get better because uh, that's the purpose, yeah? Why to do something that uh, we cannot get better? So what is mine? Mine is good life, right? So <laughs> my purpose is to live good life. <clears throat> you know, some people think good life is not enough, but good life is big. To live a good life is the purpose of the happy body is to live good life. It means that you do whatever you do creates possibility for that good life. Whatever good life is, and the good life is when the physical our nature, the physical nature, doesn't create any possibility for sending the messages that something is wrong. So when we are 50 and 60 and uh, the body is sending messages, oh, I'm too tight, I have pains, I have uh, weaknesses, I, my posture is bad. All right, these are the old messages of aging. We don't want those messages and I don't have those messages. So the whole happy body is created not to have the messages when you are 60 or 70 or 80 year old you're not supposed to get these messages so if you don't get the messages the focus the brain will not focus on the on that message and get the idea of fearing the you know aging process and so on okay now how to do it and how to create the right flow with the happy body and how to start we'll start right now so what happens the first thing that we do when people really come and 
how we put them on the program and so on. So first thing is to know the, your ideal body weight. So when you know your ideal body weight, then you will know what you're supposed to be and what your weight's supposed to be for the height and gender. And then uh, you need to look at that and find out what that message is for you. Once you know that message, then you will know what, what needs to be done in order to uh, get to the place that you want to get. All right, let's say you're 150 pounds and you're a woman and your ideal body weight says that you hurt, you're supposed to be 100 pounds, right? So, uh, so how to set up the program in motion that will, you know, look into that. So uh, you, you need to lose 50 pounds and you will be losing about a pound a week. So about 50 weeks, in two weeks, you're supposed to be 100 pounds and, uh, and feeling good. During this time of 50 weeks, also you will be getting flexible, you will getting stronger, you will get better posture. So a lot of things will happen during this, this 50 weeks. So if you think about 50 weeks, 50 weeks is, uh, you know, also with, you know, uh, what it takes really to create what I said, a better life or a good life. It takes 30 minutes a day, but 30 minutes a day to the end of your life. Well, it's a big <laughs> word, right? But it's just true. If you, if you really do it every day, you will have control over really good life, good life for yourself. And that it will happen for you. If you start uh, doing different things that you will rob yourself from possibility of a good life because you will be doing different things and not getting better in this or getting a little bit better and better there somewhere else and so on. Coming back to the, uh, our plan. So you need to find out your food plan and how to organize the food plan. And then once we have the food plan, we go to the exercise plan and then you will know what to do and how to practice for another uh, two weeks when we meet again. So coming back to, uh, to the, uh, our woman. So one week and one pound. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot. And for some people it's not enough. Some people want a lot more and faster. But if you want faster, you will, it will not be sustainable. So, you know, the 50 weeks will pass very fast and then you will be there. It would be good to be in a really good place. Some of you will need to gain weight and some of you to need to uh, lose or maintain weight and gain muscle while your body weight will be the same. So um, how do we create a food plan? We create according to uh, three hours, uh, every three hours eating, and we have three snacks and two meals. Very simple. So how the happy body is created is that um, we don't have breakfast, but we, we don't even use breakfast as a name because the breakfast is seen like it's a huge thing and uh, we, we call it a snack. So the snack and the, that's it, not the big thing. So uh, our snacks are organized according to the time. So every three hours and then when, once we start really organizing the day and hours. So there is a, now you can think about your organization of the lunch and dinner and usually six hours between. So let's say if you have lunch at 12 then you have dinner at six all right so uh that's six hours between or you can have lunch at one and seven your dinner or you can have two and eight something like that or 11 and five but anyway in between it will be a snack right and there will be also a snack probably before your lunch. So let's say nine o'clock. 
9, 12, 3, and 6. Now you're missing only one snap. It is going to be before or after, right? So it can be 6 o'clock in the morning, or it can be 9 p.m. But it's for you to decide. So now you have the timing, all right? So it's, it is very important, important, this timing, because snackers will know right away that you really snack between hours. So it will help you not to snack and wait until the time comes in. Okay? So uh, now when you have the system set up of the timing, it is important now to have the capability of moving this time back and forth so you are not really stuck with the time. So let's say that lunch at 12 is not going to happen, but it's going to happen at one o'clock. And what to do then, right? So when the, because the, the food delivery system has to be consistent and throughout the day. So your metabolic rate is good, your delivery of the food is even, and you are like a really great engine moving nicely and zooming through, right? So everything is working. So now at 12, you, you said, somebody calls, say, oh, our lunch moved to one o'clock. Uh, what to do now? If you wait another one, uh, one hour, you can get to 100. Then you will go for lunch and you'll be ravenous and you will be eating too much. So it is important to deliver something, a little bit of food for that one hour. So when you think about a snack, a snack is for three hours. So if you eat one third of the snack, that would be for one hour. So now you can think about, oh, snacks are for three hours, one snack. So if my snack is for three hours, then you know if I eat only one third of it, that's one hour. Okay, let's say you ate one third at 12, and now it's one o'clock, well, the lunch supposed to be, and it is. So now 12, it one goes to four o'clock. And then your dinner is only two hours. So you get remaining two thirds at four o'clock and that will take you to six o'clock. You have food for two hours. And then back, you're back on dinner. What if at one o'clock, you're still not eating or somebody said, called and said, well, our lunch moved to 2 p.m. All right, so, okay. So now you have the, the choice again. So you're ready for, your strategy is working. So, okay, at one o'clock you eat another one third for another one hour. And at two, you have your lunch. That gets you to five o'clock and then remaining one third you eat at five o'clock from five to six and you're back on time. So in this way, you can really move also to the uh, backward time as well. Because let's say you are at 9 a.m. and you are going to have lunch at 12. But you will not have lunch at 12, you will have at 11. So you move your time backward and you eat two thirds of the snack instead of really at you know, like uh, the whole snack. So now you have the time. That the clock is very important. This is the first thing of engagement of the happy body. Helps immensely. Because now, okay, well, the time. Now you, of course, your mind can play the games with you and say, well, you know, I, I don't want to eat on time, you know, like uh, I want to eat whenever I want, right? <laughs> so, you, you try to start thinking as uh, wise as possible with this. Uh, instead of just um, talking like a fatalist, you try to talk, oh, there is time. So uh, that's good. So it will help you to know when to eat. I will control my food intake and the time so it's good for me. So I will not be overeating. Fantastic. That's good. That's the right way of thinking. Now, 
when you have the whole time and it's organized and, and it's done, then you really need to know uh, how much to eat and when to eat, all right? So how much now to eat? So let's say uh, uh, we have to find out what is your snack. And your snack is your ideal body weight in calories. So that's your snack. So let's say you are supposed to be 150 pounds or 150, you, you should, you're supposed to be 100 pounds, all right? So you're a little, 100 pounds only, all right? And your snack is 100 calories at this point. So 100 calories is the snack. You have three snacks, right? And then two meals. And the meals are double of the calories. So 200 and 200, 700 together, right? So the deliverance of the food to the body is 700 calories. You will be losing one pound of fat every week. And one pound of fat is 3,500 calories. Divided by seven equals 500. So every day, you, your body will be giving 500 calories from itself. So that is your fat. 700 is your food. So now, when you add this, you have 1,200 calories. That's the metabolic rate of a woman who is 100 pounds, around, approximately, right? It's not so uh, clear, but around that. So now you have 1,200 calories. If you, if you do the right thing, then your body will give this 500 calories. It means you do the happy body exercises, that they are not endurance-oriented, you are eating on plan, so you're not creating hunger attacks, and uh, you are eating the right amounts. Everything is working, food is good, then your body is calm and is going to give you nicely 500 calories, and you are not hungry at all because you are getting food and you are getting your metabolic rate. So it seems like. You know, the woman is going to eat 700 calories, but she's not eating 700 calories. She is eating 1,200 calories. Okay? It's important that you understand that so your, your mind is not playing the game that 700 calories is not enough to eat. So you, if the body gives the 500, that is 1,200 anyway. Now, if you made a mistake, if you start, you know, starving the body, and uh, not eating in time, or wrong food, or too much food, the, the body will start really doing uh, things with you that will not burn your fat, but burn your muscle instead. And that's when you can get hungry, okay? If you go to the gym and you do treadmills and, you know, uh, or bicycle and so on, then the body will start engaging the muscle as a fuel and not your fat. So it's important that you uh, do nothing or you do like yoga or you go for a nice walk or you um, engage in playing, uh, let's say, tennis or, or golf, something, something that is intelligent but not really wearing you up. So when, when you know when to eat and you know what is your... Uh, snack when are your, when uh, the snacks are organized and when is your uh when the snacks are and then and how much you should eat now is the the next thing is the snacks what are the snacks all right so here we are you can you can eat bread as a number one and the the best bread that uh you could eat is usually in whole foods in the cooling sections of the whole food where the breads are alive, sprouted, and good breads alive. So if you buy one of those breads, the Isical bread is, mana bread, and all the other breads that really gluten-free bread and so on. 
So you can have the piece of bread. The piece of bread is usually 80 calories, all right? Then you can put on top of it anything that you like, all right? But very thin. <laughs> so usually, you know, if, if you have 100 calories, you know, uh, your snack that is not much you can put on but if it's 150 then you can put a little bit more so you kind of after a while you learn uh, to control this by your own way right now number two so you can you can be butter it can be uh, you know beef it can be uh, cheese and can be uh, uh, peanut butter whatever it is but thin right so number two Number two is uh, is bars, so lots of bars up there, and on you can find any bar that you like, and uh, use that bar. Usually, you have the calories there, so you can watch for this. If the bar is two hundred calories or two forty, and your ideal body weight is one twenty, that's half. Then you have two snacks from one bar, and also I will. Uh, Teach you how to do the bars. So we'll be working uh, next time, and I will, you know, go with you and teach you how to make bars. That will be really fun. Your own bars it will be healthier, and you will control the ingredients, and uh, they will be all, always fresh and you know no preservatives. Yeah. So number three is that uh, we'll do yogurt. Some of you will like fire yogurt. And this yogurt is uh, uh, you can you can buy in any store Greek yogurt, and the one container, small contra container, comes with 90 calories. So you can add some fruits to it. It depends on your idea of body weight, and then treat this as one of the snacks. Number four, frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt. You can have any frozen, you can go to any frozen yogurt place and then find a uh, small or medium, depends on your ideal body weight. And uh, usually I like one fruit or fruit toppings or two small and that's it. So if you like yogurt, if you, if you don't, then you don't use yogurt, you either, uh, uh, you know snacks so there are many snacks you can choose any snack and eat this, the same snack three times a day it's up to you right or mix them the way you like number five fruit and nuts so uh, if you use fruit and nuts then usually we say fruit one cup very small apple and then nuts according to how many calories and how many nuts uh, you could use usually we uh, recommend about 10 almonds for 100 calories idea by the way and 20 for uh, those two out of pounds and uh, you can use any any uh, other nuts the size of the nuts that the almonds you use uh, in your system but the most important is that you uh, visually see how much of it it is and then experience that eventually the whole system of eating should be very independent so you don't think about that if you simply control it from the experience simplicity the more simplicity the better it is number six veggie and dip so here is the story that anybody can use about two three pounds of uh, uh, celeries and carrots and, and anything else, right? And then, you know, dip, dip in the, uh, in whatever dip is, but not scoop it, right? So you don't scoop hamas because you know, then you can have a lot of it. <laughs> so, so not that, right? Now, number seven is veggie juice. So be sure that here is a veggie juice and it is not fruit added because sometimes you know many times i go to places and then and they think that the apple is a, a is a veggie so it's a really funny thing <laughs> so yeah we have the veggie here uh, juice and there is apple and there is orange right inside so no just veggies so usually what i do is i go to 
uh, whole foods on the juice bar and I like the combination like this. Carrots, beets, celery, parsley, uh, spinach, kale, and then I like to add ginger and lemon to it. Delicious, really fantastic juice. I, uh, I drink it on a daily basis as one of my definitely snacks. So if you, if you eat, uh, the, uh, if you drink a coffee latte or a soy chai latte, that is your, one of the snacks as well. So uh, you can have during the day, let's say, uh, soy chai latte is the one snack, the one is yogurt, and one is a bar, something like that. So uh, it's up to you the, uh, how you choose this. Now, now we'll cover lunch and dinner. And lunch and dinner, you will have protein, right? Protein, it's a one fist of protein and two of the snacks, but more, not, not more the fist, it's more like, uh, uh, like fingers and a little bit of the hand. Uh, but in calories, you know, that your, your protein should be about 100 calories and then uh, the veggies 50 and 50. So uh, everything together for the ideal body weight for two, 200 calories, that should be around 100, 100, 100 calories, the protein and 100 of the veggies. But, you know, it's really hard to really measure this. So the best way to really look at that, when you look at the, uh, the fish, whatever you're getting, beef or whatever, then uh, you, if like about 100, um, 100 calories, that would be like about three. And this is a small fish or beef. And, and the same size of, on the veggies, uh, two kind of veggies or one double. So double veggies and uh, one piece of any animal, but also the any uh, grain or um, or beans, or we add here as well potato and corn to it. This is not really high protein, but we keep it that protein and veggies, right? So. Uh, any animal and veggies, twice as much as the veggies. So now you can be also uh, beans and veggies, can be quinoa and veggies, right? It can be rice and veggies, it can be potato and veggies and corn and veggies. And so, um, but also any kind of a product that you like, right? So if you are, let's say a hundred, you know, uh, ideal, ideal body weight is 100, so three and a half ounces uh, of that protein, that it can be also pizza, pasta, and any other product. Okay, so you, you will use three and a half ounces then of, of the product that you like. Yeah, like uh, I like pierogies, and then, you know, it's my Polish food, and I have to have pierogies, uh, pierogi. <laughs> so, uh, so I, I use it as my ideal body weight, right? So I will have about five ounces of that, and then uh, just five ounces of pierogi, and then uh, the veggies, twice as much veggies. Veggies is important, I have to tell you that. Uh, veggies are you know, really protecting us from a lot of problems. So, you know, it's, it's alkaline base, and uh, you know, takes the acidity of our system. So uh, that's important for any kind of illness and so on. So uh, uh, also it's anti-inflammatory. Every veggie is anti-inflammatory. So it's a lot of goodness in veggies. So the more you have it, the better it is. So what is on the happy body plan is protein and twice as much veggies. And that is your plate, right? That's your plate for for the lunch and for the dinner. Visually, you have to see it. 
So when you are in America, then you have fantastic place where people serve so much food. So when you have family of three, you can go and order one dinner and you have for free, right? <laughs> so you can be for free people. So that's, that's amazing, actually. You know, when you go to a really fancy restaurant, that will give you a little bit fish, a little bit veggies, and you will pay $40. But you, if you go to, you know, really not sophisticated restaurant, you will get a lot of more food for a lot of less money. Well, that's really good news if you know how to really use it. But that's the whole system when you really know how to adapt yourself to the system, then you can save a lot of money, a lot. Actually, you will spend probably 30% of what you are spending, and that's all you need. You probably notice uh, when you start using the happy body. So uh, it will give you also the edge that will, through the system, when you engage the happy body, you will learn one more thing, that it will give you the possibility of knowing how much you are wasting and how much you are wasting money, really. So at least 50% or 60%, was going to the waste. And that waste is going to stop. It means that you will only use as much as the really your body needs and no more than that. So we really at home, we really don't waste at all because we eat everything what we buy because <laughs> we want all of it what we buy. So everything is really uh, eaten and very little is wasted. You know, we, there is no way that after dinner or lunch, there is something left on the plate. Everything is eaten. And all snacks are eaten too. So nothing is ever left. So there is no such thing as uh, leftover. All right, they're drinking now. Of course, the life without vodka doesn't have any sense. So we are going to drinking, right? So drinking is covered by removing one veggie from the plate, and that's your glass of wine, right? Or vodka drink, like, you know, I like the up vodka with fresh lime squeeze. And here's a trick that I use when I go to restaurants. So I ordered my vodka and I up, and I like the uh, sparkling water on the side. And as I drink, I pour my sparkling water in. So the alcohol dilutes and I drink less, less dense alcohol, but I'm pretty happy already, sipping a little bit and uh, I'm in a good mood. So everything is good. Now, the weight is good that I don't drink another one, right? But the waiter has the message not to come and offer me another one because my glass is always full. You can do it with with uh, wine too, people do it. It dilutes the color, <laughs> but it's okay. You know, it's, if you are up to it, it's good. If not, you sip a little bit and you control it in a different way. It's up to you. You know, you remember the happy body is created for you to help yourself to control all of that. It's not a diet really, but it is a way of living, a way how to control things so you get your results. That's what is it. That's how, that's how it's set up. It's, it's, the, it's the way it has to go through so you, you can get engaged as the control. Self-control, your control, so you get the results. If you want two drinks, all right, then one protein is left and one veggie. You cut it into half, you have half, half, if you want the third drink, then, then there is no eating that, boom, you know, you're drinking. You're, you're in the bar drinking, well, it's not that bad, it's all gone. So you are in the bar drinking only, uh, and that's it. <laughs> you have a good time, of course, but you're not eating, you're drinking. It, it, it's, it's working very well, you know, you try it. It's really fantastic. Forget about the dinner, you know, you're, you're just drinking dinner, right? <laughs> All right, so, you know, 
what's my best way in uh, bars and drinking? I go and have a drink and french fries. I'm really happy. Fantastic. I tell you, this is the best combination, uh, you know, my combination. French fries and one vodka J. Fantastic. You cannot beat that. I don't know why to even eat the other stuff, really. <laughs> so <laughs> this is good. All right, so that's the food plan. You are going to, to get, uh, not yet, well, we'll go. We'll go now to the exercise, all right? And then I will teach you how to do that. All the food plan you will do on the daily basis and uh, you will engage uh, in the, the book that I will talk to you at the end uh, about the self mastery workbook. And it will be, uh, it will be available for you on PDF. So you will be uh, uh, able to uh, print it and fill it up as, as you need. Now, um, the next thing is the exercise. So I need to talk to you about this a little bit. Exercise is extremely important. That will take care of your flexibility, of your strength, of your posture, and uh, will create uh, for you the body that you will need for the, another 40, 50 years, 60 years. So you have to think about that. You will be living a long time. And you don't want to end up in a year or two doing over and over the same and no results. You have to really get into the happy body idea of doing this to the end of your life. So to the end of the life and have a good life, right? And you know, my imagination of ending is this. I am 100 something. I'm in the bed. I'm thinking about planning another day. And I'm excited about that. What is going to do when I uh, do next day? I don't wake up. Uh, I, I check off, right? <laughs> so that's good. I don't want to end up in a hospital attached to many things and so on and, and end up there. So it would be fantastic if we all could end that way, right? Dreaming about another day and not wake up when we are 100 or 105, 110, because we are supposed to be living that long. But the nature is telling us something different when we are 35 and aging us, and that's why we have the happy body, so we don't feel those things and we move on through life fantastically. That's what I say. All right, exercise system, extremely important, right? Every day. All right, so you have to think about, you're doing this every day, not five times a week, six times, every day. Every day you're brushing your teeth, every day you do that, playing the instrument, you're playing your piano, you are the piano, and you are the player, and the music is there to play. That's your 18 exercises. You play them, and you play them. You, you play and you make better. The piano becomes better too. Right, the tune, everything is better, and then your music conductor gets better. Everything gets better and better and better. A year passed and two and three, everything is better. And that's how it's supposed to be. So you don't stuck in a place in the world where you keep doing over and over the same and dreaming about better results. You're not going to get them. But it's important that you do exercises pleasant, pleasantly. So it's not too hard on you. You know, so you are doing them, but you are doing every day. The only thing that you really have to comprehend every day. A little bit every day, but every day. So you, you drag yourself and you do this 30 minutes has to be sacred time for you. It's something that you do. It's something that is... Uh, is the most important thing that you do. This is the base for you of supporting your better good life. So do it, do it every day. Don't lose it, don't make holes unless it's really something extreme happens when 
you actually, you know, there is an accident or, you know, you, you, you fly and, and you didn't have time really. But for me, I like, I'm like this. I, my, my happy body is about 10 p.m., 11 p.m. I watch documentary or TED Talks or movies and I do my, my happy body, all right? That's what I do. But on the days that I go to the party or somewhere, I try to do it earlier because I learned my lesson that I came after the party at 1 a.m. and I had to do my training. You see, you have to get the principle. You do it every day. Whether you arrive home at 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. or 5 a.m., you have to do the happy body. That's it. That's, that's what you have to have in the brain. Principle is more important than expectations. Your principles have to be powerful. And how I understood this, I was about, uh, I don't know, 14 years old when I told my coach that, I didn't do the workout and what should I do? And my coach said, you missed the workout? You missed it forever. It's gone, cannot get it back. You cannot do two workouts today. It's done, it's over. If you do two workouts today, there will be 90%. Neither one will be 100%. So it's done. I say, it's done, done. I don't remember after that when I missed the workout. All right. There's no, no such thing. I don't miss the workout. I just don't do it. So you, you have to get inside you that you do it every day. It has to be every day. And that every day will create, create your good life. And, you know, two years will pass and three years will pass. And your perspective will be built up, different perspective. So there is a, is a uh, proverb about um, enlightenment. It says, before enlightenment, you chop wood and carry water. After enlightenment, you chop wood and carry water. Right? So what's the difference? The perspective is different. The perspective. The way we do it. So after three or five years, when you do the happy body, you will be, your body will be a lot of different. You will know how you work and you know how you improve, your perspective will change. Because of the perspective, you will know exactly what to do to gain weight, to lose weight, to eat well and not to, and so on. You will know all of it. Your perspective will be there. And you will know what works or what doesn't work. You will know exactly what's going on. Since you will know, nothing or nobody will be able to control you or trick you, it's done. You will gain self-control and you will gain the power over your results. You will create your results and you know how they happen. Okay, back to exercise. There are 18 exercises, all right? And then I will teach you today the three of them and then you will be doing those three. And the most important when we exercise is that we are staying mindful while doing them, right? Then our focus is on what we exactly do with each exercise. And every exercise in the happy body has six different parts. Every repetition has different six parts. When you, we inhale, we do inhaling. When you flex certain parts of the body, you flex, right? When you lift, you lift. When you stretch, you stretch. When you return, you return. When you exhale after, you exhale. And then you start another repetition. Inhale, flex, lift stretch, return, exhale. Here, very important factor. If you love what you do, 
you will never want to stop it. So all the movement, your challenges to get, connect to the movement that is pleasurable for you. You have to find pleasure on, on this movement and do them with the speed that you love. When you are bored, slow down and find the pleasure in the movement. Once you find the pleasure in all these movements, you will never stop them. That's the key to any really uh, routine that is a physical routine. It has to be pleasurable. No pains, all right? No pain, no gain is the most stupid saying on this planet, right? So no pain, gain. That's the way of saying. Okay, so you have to really start rethinking those things a little bit differently, right? So you have to be kind to the body, to your life, but push a little bit and create micro progression while you are exercising. So now it's a it's an important element of how you are going to do that. All right, so it has to be pleasurable, it has to be focused, and it has to be kind and nice, and you push a little bit every time forward with how you do it. So number four is always the stretch, and your brain has to focus on that stretch. Because number four is going to determine how good you are. So you have to start really focusing on number four every every repetition has the six beats and number four. All right. Number one exercise is standing tall. All right. You probably have the box and some of you did that, but I will cover number one now. All right. So uh, let me, let me get this out here. Okay. All right. So this exercise, when you when you stand, you understand tall, your feet are shoulder width apart, and you Dumbbells are on the side, right? So let me get a little bit this way. Get the dumbbells. And first I will do inhale. Inhale, two, I will flex my stomach and my glutes to secure my, my lumbar spine. So it's neutral, there is no Tacking here, any kind, but everything is neutral. All right. Now, so the toes are always up. So when I lift, when I do the second, my toes are, are going up like this. All right. So number two, toes up. I am more on the heels. And purpose for this is the posture. So the, we are more on the heels, our posture is more straight, more on the toes, we are more aged and the posture is breaking and eventually we are ending like this, right? So now standing tall. So inhale one, two is Is lift four is stretch this is the one that we are fighting for to make it really better but remember do not underestimate this movement and do not try to make these movements like uh, da, da 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 right so make this movement so they are pleasurable never rush to finish enjoy the movement every day and this is your biggest challenge. If you find the pleasure in the moving, 
but not trying to exercise and finishing and get rid of it, then you succeed in your life. You really succeed. You find a pleasure. No matter how, where is your life at this point? But if you find the pleasure in these movements, you're really going to be a big winner in a year or two. Really big one. All right? All right, again, one, inhale, tight, lift, stretch, down, and exhale number six. So for the close-up, how the stretch looks like, all right, I'm here, and my brain now, number four, stretch. So I'm doing everything to move my arms up to the ceiling. Okay? All right. So now number two exercise. And hold on. Number two is... Testing weight. All right, so we are going to the floor. All right. Okay. All right. So for, for those that have really tight uh, hamstrings, you need to uh, keep your legs bent this way. And those that they have little back problems, you will reach more toward the ceiling. Those who are really good, keep your legs up. And let's see a little bit, so you can see my legs. Okay, so arms back, inhale one, two, I'm flexing my stomach, right? Two, flexing my stomach and my toes are going down and my hamstrings are flexed, all right? So number one, two, three, I'm lifting. Touch yourself somewhere to the shins. And number four, now is that fight for flexibility. So more up using my stomach. So I want to move as much as possible up, all right? And back and exhale. There are two, there are, it is good to do some stops here, like flex, stop, number three, number four, stop, hold, back, exhale. So don't try to make it too hard when you do this exercise, try to make it, uh, you reach for more, but it has to be pleasurable more. So think about that every week, you will get better. This micro progression, you have to somehow uh, implant in it. So you reach for the shins a little bit every day more or every week, you know, inch by inch, you will be getting stronger and more flexible. And if you notice any pains and problems, so back up. Don't, you know, challenge the body that the, the body is not happy. You challenge the body when it's happy, but it's not, not when it's not happy. Even you know, elite weightlifters don't lift when they are in pain. We just don't do it. When the pains are coming, we are tucking up, healing, and come back. That's how it's done. So your progress toward getting better has to be micro progression. You know, the tool has to be implanted in the whole progress. And then the results are weekly, monthly, yearly, right? Think about this way. So the faster you want to fix what you have, what you have today, the, the worse it's going to be. So Number three exercise. Number three is 
just take off, right? So here we are. The head is to one side. I lay, I lay on the stomach. Inhale is one. Number two is when I have my toes uh, touching, number two is I bring the heels also touching. So you can see my heels, right? So inhale one, two, I bring my heels together and flex my bum, right? Flex my stomach and I'm afraid, I'm lifting. I'm lifting up, my shoulders are very soft and my spine is only lifting and I stop at a certain point and then I squeeze more the lower part of my glutes and the hamstrings to give me one inch more to for the stretch then I stop there go back to the other side and then release the breath when I release the breath also I stretch my trapezius on that side so again, one, not one, number one, inhale, tight, lift, stretch, return, exhale. Okay. So, Exercise is magic and it has the power to make your body better over time. And this exercise system is created to actually deliver that. Right? Now one thing is we need to to do it and uh, do it every day. Look at that uh, system, the, the program as your way of life from now on, something that you will be doing. And no matter what, give, give yourself a year and then test it how you are or give yourself 12 weeks and test the 12 weeks. And then if 12 weeks is good, you have some results, then keep doing for a year, then you will have more results. You know, it takes about 10 years to create a good athlete you know, the national level athlete. It doesn't happen very fast. Music, 10 years, 20 years, 20 years is a normal thing that, to practice. So to become a you know, good musician, poet, 20 years, 30 years, that's how it goes, right? So it doesn't, ha doesn't happen very fast. But what's, what's beautiful is that the, when actually the perspective changes, that's the most beautiful because the time is between you and how you started and how, where you are, where you are. And then you can start seeing, oh my God, that's where I was. Wow. Well, I really got better. So I have this, uh, this uh, I, I don't know if I told you I have this, this uh, man who, who came here, he was 64 and now he's 75. And, He's in a better shape than he was when he was 64. I say, my God, you know, I was 64 when I came here, and now I'm 75. I'm in a better shape when I'm 75, and I can do certain things that I couldn't do when I, even when I was in 20s. So, magic. The plan, the plan is the magic, but the ability to... is actually change and get better you will get happy when you get happy you also I'd call it free triple happiness you will also get happy that you actually were able to do that that's the second happiness the third It's a really great thing to have results and to get better. It's a really great thing. And if you keep doing 
this program you will of this document of this book this is a really fantastic book the, the combination between the a poet and the engineer so on one side of the book you will write what you eat and when you eat and then you will measure yourself and you will add you know uh, how many points you know you you have for doing something good how many for doing something bad so every day you can have four, 15, 45 points exercise is 15 the relaxation is 15 and then food is 15. so uh, every day you will eat your snacks and then if you if the snack is on time you give yourself point if the snack is right another point if the calories are right another point if so you have three points for every eating and then you will have also no points when you do something wrong all right so it's kind of a data but it's on the other side of the day you will have a poem and then you poem there is a question and then there will be some kind of engagement of, of yourself with the answer to the question and, and reflection so you start working with this uh, side of you that will create some room for acceptance that something is difficult or hard the hard choices is easier to accept within the poem and that poem, poem that's why arts and poems have uh, lots of power because it gives us room for acceptance of something that is hard for us so poem by poem we become simply a better people and, and poet as well by writing poems become a better man within after you know writing every poem also after reading poems as well so every day you do uh, you you get engagement between the collector of the data your exercises your eating as well as reading the poem and and writing down uh, your answers and reflections the uh, exercises you have three exercises and you do them at the beginning you do them six uh, six rounds of six repetitions so you do first one six repetition second six the third six you come back to the first one and you do six rounds all right after one week when everything is good you make it 10 rounds until we meet in two weeks because next week we are not here so in when in two weeks you you do and then remember when you do those exercises don't get bored you know use your pleasure as a guy do not get uh rushed and you know don't get anxiety that you have to go somewhere if you have to go somewhere stop and go don't try to finish don't try to rush don't do those things the movement is music the movement is beauty the movement is joy so treat it that way no matter what you do those exercises are not there for you to punish you or whatever it is really created to deliver good life better life that you have it today so the homework the homework is the book so you will have 14 days experience with poems you have 14 days of exercise and after every exercise routine there is music that you need to download and listen to it as a as meditation that is on on, on page 68 but uh, i think that uh, jeff will deliver the message and it's called thai's meditation so after uh, uh performed by budapest orchestra we like this one it's five minutes 
So every piece of music works this way that um, after a while is recognized by the body system as a mantra in a way. And uh, faster. So after a year or two, listening to the same piece of music and uh, relaxing after exercise, the body actually will get deeper and deeper into calmness after the exercise. So it's like, uh, you know, uh, it went, at the beginning, when you submerge yourself into the water in the ocean, there's a lot of movement of water. But if you go deeper and deeper, it's more and more, more calm. So this uh, piece of music will going to create this calmness a lot of faster the, long, the, the longer you use it. So in a year or two and three, it will be so powerful that you lay down and you hear it and you boom, everything will get calm very fast. So that the purpose of it is to switch the sympathetic nervous system to parasympathetic system and, you know, create this, uh, this goodness, tranquility in our life, right? So we feel good. We feel good that we exercise. We feel good that we are getting better and feel good that our life is good. I think I, I did pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I have to I talk to myself as well, not only to you, right? <laughs> okay, so um, I will see you in two weeks. Thank you guys for uh, listening and have fun. Enjoy the routine and enjoy that it's easy and pick up, oh, I forgot, pick up the weights, very easy weight, three pounds or five pounds. And enjoy it, you know, you, it's, it's like ballet, it's beautiful, it's music, so um, treat it the, the way of pleasure. Okay. I have a question on diet. Right. Who is that? Uh, hi, I'm Aaron. I have a question on diet. Right. For vegetarians. Yes. With the 160, with whatever the grams of protein are for the meal, right? What am I measuring? If well, you're measuring the, uh, you know, it's it's. What's your ideal body weight? 165. Yeah, so you should be around uh, seven ounces of uh, whatever you use for protein, you know, beans or or grains or whatever you use, and then. Uh, double on the veggies, and that that's what you measure. Okay, great. Thank you. That's really helpful. All right. Any other questions? Sorry that I just wanted to disappear. <laughs> hi. Anybody has a question? Has a question? Uh, Luke is here. Right. Uh, hi, Yves. Um hey, So what I wanted to ask was, I'm actually preparing for a half marathon. Right. Is there anything that you would suggest I do differently? When is um, the marathon? It's in one month and a week, five weeks. All right, five weeks. So yeah, you are you are engaging. Well, the happy body will help you. You can engage. Teach yourself the other free exercises, especially the squats and stuff like that. That will help you immensely for. A flexibility because marathon running is really inflexibility, really high inflexibility. So mm -hmm. uh, flexibility for you is really uh, extremely important. And you probably uh, need a little bit eating more, right? And okay. what's your, do you need to lose weight or are you okay? I'm, my weight is fine, except I think I have a little too much fat compared to muscle. Well, so I then, think I need to convert. Cover, uh, in two weeks, because leanness is coming to cover the leanness and how the leanness plays the role with ideal body weight, right? Okay. So we'll cover that. But if you keep losing weight, then you add more food to, to your system. But you will have only three exercises, and, and I would... Uh, 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 teach myself the other three in the happy body and so doing the, uh, the stiff legs that live in the squat will help you a lot with the flexibility. Okay, I'm familiar with those three. I have the book, right. so 
Okay, I'll implement those as well. Great, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Yes. I have a question as well. Who is that? Where is it? Hi. Um, I wanted to know if it's for me, I'm, uh, I, I have to gain weight. I have to gain muscle. Hello. I don't know who is talking. Oh, uh, can you not see me? Yannick Nuss? I don't, who? I don't know which one. It's somehow it's, uh, when you say, I don't see it. Can you say something? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to know, I have to uh, gain weight. So my ideal body weight is 150 pounds. Yeah, so you double on the, on the snacks. So it, it becomes, your snacks are really 300. So you're the opposite. You eat a lot of more. And 300 and 600 on the lunch and dinner. So you, you know, and watch yourself. If you are gaining about uh, one pound and a half a month, uh, that you okay, but you if you gain more, then you will be probably gaining fat and not muscle. So it's important for you to gain muscle and not fat. Awesome, perfect. So I'll double that. And how much would that be in the? So the 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 protein then is so you are about hundred fifty then. Uh, then you know you can probably get away with 12 ounces of a steak that's nice <laughs> awesome perfect <laughs> thank you <laughs> that's good good life <laughs> all right who else but it's not really uh you know better life than you know for people that to gain weight is really hard i have people that um for example a 6.7 uh, a man came to me 15 years old and he was 150 pounds and would not simply gain weight. So it, it's really hard to gain weight as well as to lose weight. It's not, sometimes it's really even harder to gain weight than, than actually to lose. So it's, a, it's, it's simply we are out of control somewhere or not in our best place where the ideal body weight is. So the happy body helps you to get up to that or down wherever it is but to live life of ideal body weight is the first step that we need to really get into our brain and control that physical state to actually arrive there to have results to make it happen i have you know this football player that came he was six four and 119 pounds and became 195 in two years so from this 119, very skinny boy, he became very powerful 195 player. It took two years, but you know, if, if he didn't do the right thing in two years, he would be maybe 130, right? 135, that's it. And not muscular, right? All right, another question? So the forum is there. Uh, for you guys, you can download the videos there. We'll figure out how to look at them. And if you need any, any help, you know, you write to Jeff. And, and remember, every day life happens. So every day the happy body happens, right? I actually, I, I would have like two quick questions. All right. Cool. Um, it, it's me again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me this time. All right. Um, with the portions for the vegetables, do I just double? Uh, do I make it so it's the same size as the meat? Yes. So the two vegetables are the same size as the meat, not the same weight. You, we always double on the double the weight. Yes, and double on the weight. So it's not only the size because you can have you know spinach, fluffy spinach, and. There. So you have to really have so if, the if I eat on. So a lot of it. if I eat twelve ounces of protein or grain, then I have to have twenty four ounces of vegetables. Right? Yeah. So it would be good for you because you have so much, right, of the veggies. So it would be good for you to just get maybe a juice, you know, like a, a, a glass of, you know, when when you have uh, about 
two pounds of juice that will create you um, maybe 16 ounces uh, of, you know, of juice, right? So juice is a good one glass of veggie juice you can add to your dinner and uh, that will solve your problem of, you know, eating too much, right? Okay, perfect. And right. with the dumbbells, is it recommended to get a fixed one or one that I can add weight onto it later when it needs to be heavier? It's up to you because, you know, uh, uh, probably better if you have different dumbbells because you will be adjustable for heavier, whatever it is, and then lighter. You know, you have to come ideas. But usually people would just buy the whole set from, you know, five, you'll be using 50 pounds. So, you know, eventually it's going to happen. So it's, it's better to just buy right away the whole uh, stack on Amazon, you know, and be covered. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, so good night. Uh, congratulations. And uh, look forward to see you in two weeks.